Hey guys, uh, today I want to get the, uh, gonna try to get the cam out. Uh, I want to get the uh, power steering pump and vacuum pump off. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to expose all the friggin uh, lifters and whatnot. So uh, that panel's got to come off. I might, might get the starter off and uh, take the oil pump out. So that's what's on today's agenda. So, let's start this episode. Well guys, I decided to change your angle a little bit. So, uh, oh, did that just come loose? Huh. Okay, well, um, yeah, I guess we'll just start with this freaking guy, get these lines out of here. It's just a 10 mil right here. And then this fuel return line can go in our handy dandy parts pile. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I still get freaking diesel into it. Huh, all over the floor. Oh, that's good for it. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys are right above my parts pile. So this guy, Frank. I don't know, I'll have to find a home for him. And this guy. These are the ones that held on that computer, so they can even go in their own Ziploc bag called computer. <laughs> so let's get a container there. Um, what do we do now? Well, I'll get this oil line off for the uh, vacuum pump. It's uh, 9 sixteenths. It's probably the only friggin' non-metric thing on this engine, and I'm gonna need... Well, you know what? I didn't have to take that one off. I'll just freaking undo it here. Because the oil line will go with it, but I'm gonna have to tighten that up because it looks like it was leaking. Um, so you got two 15 mil nuts here that'll take off the entire assembly, or you got two 13 mil nuts there, which I guess just takes off this back half. So I don't need the entire assembly on there, so I'm going to remove it via the 15 mil nuts. And by nuts, I mean nuts. <laughs> I don't know why I always get those mixed up. <laughs> And they silicone this one on too. I don't, I don't know why. So one and the two. Looks like they have the gasket there as well. <laughs> they siliconed over the gasket. Do not understand. Okay, so yeah, this was that plug that we were having problems with before uh, when the injector pump was there. And it looks like it lines up with these three bolts on the camshaft gear, so I'm guessing that is for timing. So, yeah, now this should just pop off. Pretty sure I've only seen the two bolts there. <laughs> just needs a bit of persuasion with the silicone and everything. But you do have the gear in front, so. Oh, there we go. Okay. And straight out. Yeah, freaking silicone. You've got the gasket here, it's freaking was perfectly good. No, they put a layer of silicone over it. <laughs> Frick sakes. So. I don't know why some people do what they do, but can't blame them, I guess. That thing is funky looking. Check that out inside. Oh, you can't. Apologize. Oh, maybe you can a little bit. Eh, okay. That guy can hang out. 
with the camshaft gear. I'm gonna have to go through all of those parts and organize them and freaking clean them and everything, so. Uh, let's get this off. Looks like a 10 or an 11 now. Nope, that's a 10. I'm not sure what exactly this does. So maybe it just holds on this freaking nasty crack crap. Which I'm guessing is some sort of heat shield. I really am unsure as to what this is and what purpose it serves. It's prime. <laughs> Ugh, what the frick? Feels spongy, so I'm guessing it was for heat. Maybe? I don't know. That's garbage. Yeah, it's just brittle as frig. Is this important? Do, you, do any of you Cummins guys know if this friggin' spongy bit is important? Do I need a new one or can I just roll without? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> so I'm guessing to expose this, you just got, well, my, I don't know. I'll try these three 10 mils first and uh, see if anything happens. If not, we might take those out but I don't know like I always say I'm learning same as you guys <laughs> Just kidding. Hmm. Oh, there's a tab right there. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, something's happening. Yeah, it still held on, so. Uh, 15. 16 it is. I didn't think they would just hold on with three of those. So, make a note where these special guys come from. I don't know, it's hard to tell if they were part of this or if they were actually uh, bolts. Now it should just fall off. Not exactly sure what's behind this bubble, but we're gonna find out. Uh, not much really. That is not what I was, oh, okay, no, no, no. That is what I was expecting to see. What the crap is this? And our push rods go through here and land on these guys. So those are the lifters. Do they come out? Yes, they do. Easily? <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> yeah. 
a good pair of needle nose pliers or something. Pick maybe. Not really got anything to grab with a pick. So pretty sure I gotta pull all those out to get the camshaft out. So I'll uh, grab my needle nose pliers and pull them out. And I'm gotta make sure that these all go back in the same position. <laughs> Because each one will be worn to the cam lobe specifically. So if I start mixing them up, then you'll wear them out funny, and it's just not a good, uh, not a good situation to be in. Where be my needle nose pliers? I'll find them and uh, resume the video. Well, I have no idea where my friggin' uh, needle nose pliers went, but I did find another bag. <laughs> I must have taken them to work or something. Forgot them there, so. Oh, well, not much I can do. Maybe these ones will work. I don't think that's the right way to do it. <laughs> it went up and then it got stuck on something. Yeah, no, they're just freaking getting stuck, so uh, I'm not sure what to do there. But I'm sure my buddy Sean will know. <laughs> so, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll try to get the camshaft out. So I'll uh, move you guys to the front. Okay, well, I'm not moving you guys to the front because I did some reading, and uh, <laughs> apparently you got to get uh, wooden dowels, stick them in there, freaking pick them up and then freaking tie them together with uh, rubber bands and stuff because if uh, you try to take camshaft out they'll fall down and you won't be able to do anything and uh, if you do get the camshaft out they'll all drop into the freaking engine and I don't want well they're coming out anyways but I don't want them to come out like that so I'll leave the camshaft alone for now I will get this bracket off I doubt this bracket will be going back on and uh, what else can I do tonight? Oh yeah, the oil pumps. So these guys should all just be 10 mils. Uh, these two are fine there. So these four, that guy was fine where it was. It's not threaded into anything. So yeah, these four hold this bracket on, which is the original friggin' uh, fuel lift pump uh, location. Place. <laughs> totally screwed that one up. Get on there. So I guess they're not all 10 now. That guy looks like a freaking 12 or 13. It is not a 13. It is not a 12. Maybe it is a 10. Maybe it's just caked. In. Yeah. Holy, that had a lot of freaking grease onto it. But, uh, yeah, it is a 10. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, these are all just cake. This thing was freaking long overdue for a rebuild, I think. <laughs> That and this one and two more. So these videos that I'm making, these 30 minute long videos, they are just huge in file size. They're the um, what was it, June 8th? I think it was. 33, the 34 minute one, I think that was part two, was 1.5 gigs. It's huge. Um, and I'm only rendering it at 720p. So, I didn't see what high def, like 
full hide can do. Why is there a gasket behind that? Maybe I have to put this back on. <laughs> that feels hollow in behind. Alright, anyways, um, I need to find a different format to render in because this that's way too big. It takes friggin' uh, what was it? Well, I posted on Facebook. It was 458 minutes remaining on uh, that video, and uh, I'm uploading. I finally got my computer to render uh, yesterday's video, and that's 1.46 gigs, and it's friggin' taking like over 200 minutes to render. Oh, my camshaft. <laughs> That's why the lifters ain't coming out. They got a freaking flat bit on the bottom. A But uh, anyways, I need to find a new format. Um, I don't have a Mac. I've got a PC and uh, I use Sony Vegas Pro. And frig. I usually render into uh, Windows WMV. I forget. Windows Media Video or something like that. But, um, yeah, the file sizes are just too big. It takes forever to upload. It's filling up a hard drive, so I need to find a solution to that. But, uh, that's that. So, anyways, yeah, you can see the camshaft in there. I actually want to get a light in there and have a little gander. Maybe I'll show you guys, too, if I can't, uh, well, if I can. What I'm trying to say. What? What the hell? My camshaft's got a freaking nick on the end of it. Or the freaking lobe. Damn it. For Greg's sakes. It looks burned. It looks okay, but my freaking lobe's got a crack onto it. I'll show you guys. See that crack right there? That freaking chip? Yeah, what the frig? Oh, come on, focus, please. There we go. Like, what the hell causes that? And see the friggin' weird markings and stuff onto it? And then if you look at this side, it looks all burned and scored. So, frig sakes. So, anyways, uh, wow. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm not putting that bracket back on. What I might do is just trace out that uh, outline there and plasma cut that out, and then just bolt the freaking plate on there, because uh, I don't need that bracket, not one bit. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna freaking need a camshaft now, but uh, if I do, the stock one ain't going back in. <laughs> My uh, whole thing is if I break it, upgrade it. <laughs> Could be pushing. Well, I want to do this build to about 400 horse. I think that's not unreasonable. It'll keep it somewhat on the stock side. I'm not. I don't want to go super crazy with it, but uh, I do want a little more power out of it. And I think. Is there more of that freaking crap, or is that just? I have ADD. Um, <laughs> yeah, 400 horse is not unreasonable. It's it'll be a lot of fun too. Like right now, well, no, because she was a dog when I first got her. She was just weak. Um, buddy of mine's got an identical truck to mine. He doesn't have injectors. He doesn't have a chip, and it has like twice as much power as mine had stock when I put the chip and the injectors into it, then I like doubled him, but uh, I don't know, I don't know, wondering if something might be up with this motor, hopefully not, but uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to my diesel guy and see what he says about that chip in the friggin' camshaft, that's stupid. But, um, 
Yeah, I think that'll do it for tonight. I'm friggin' uh, hungry, so I'm gonna go order up some pizza. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm having a blast doing this. It's... I'm learning a lot, too, as I'm doing it. Like, I didn't know that I was freaking gonna wreck stuff if I tried pulling the cam out. It's a good thing I freaking Google searched that. Yeah, Google for the win. But, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, take care.